Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So it's still the weekend. Um, it's still Sunday. We're gonna be doing some 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 more dragons runs. I think I think it's pretty fun. I I really do enjoy doing some dragons runs. Um, I don't have a lot of dragon sigil, so I can only do two more runs today because I basically spent my whole week ba just mostly farming golems B10. Um, usually, if I'm farming the scenario maps, I I get a lot more um, you know a lot more dragon sigils and, 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 and shit to, to use. Like I'll, I'll maybe have like 20 or something. So I'm just going to do two more runs of Dragon Speed 10 and um, I'm not exactly sure if I have any eggs or anything to summon but we might be able to do some rebirths. So yeah let's just go in with, uh, I did it with my Fire Arthur yesterday so let's let's switch back to my Wood Wild thing. They, they kind of do the same job. Um, I don't really think there's much of a difference um, besides you know just just stunning like they 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 basically provide CC and uh, and some damage oh man I, I swished around the order I don't know if this is gonna fuck fuck me up maybe I should have just used that Arthur he still would have done more damage ah oh, so so unlucky Right, nice. At least we crit and kill that thing. So, oh, nice. I got petrify. Ah, oh, shit. I was supposed to attack first before I petrify. Now, now my dark sea star doesn't do much damage. Let's see if I can put her to sleep, or at least uh, nuke her hard enough to to kill her or anything like that. Oh shit! She did her AOE. Alright, I'm still alive, so I guess that's still pretty good. Yeah, it's it's better if my teen dies now. Come on, don't don't Oh wait, no, never mind. It didn't land, so so we're good. Alright, that's one refill because it killed my Dark Atito, which is kinda unfortunate, but it is it is what it is. They also don't have a full bar, so it's kind of risky going to the second fight as well. Yeah, I was just putting. I was just thinking of like replacing my Dark Sea Star with another tanky uh, stun monster. You know, um, this way, this way um, it can provide CC, and on the second stage I can basically stun two units. It has to, it has to be dark too, so I was thinking of using the Dark Victoria, and. Um, yeah, and also needs to do a little bit of damage against the dragon boss. So it basically needs to be able to survive like a, t a hit from the the light Persephone, um, be tank, do enough damage to you know to to damage the the dragon, and uh, yeah. All right, I think I think I think we're fucked. We might. Oh my god, I was taunted. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter who it hits, because I don't think you can kill my Dark Sea Star with one attack either. Oh shit. That was really bad. That, that fucked me pretty hard. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go into the dragon fight like this. It doesn't matter. I'll do I'll do one more refill. It's fine. It's not that bad. Oh my god. Should I use my nuke or try to RNG? Actually, wait. No, I have to use my nuke because even if I. Even if I don't, and he just hits my, yeah. See, I was I was right to use it, right? Okay, let's just let's just nuke him hard. Make him make him use his uh, AOE skill. Kill us both, and then I can refill. If I land armor break on this turn, I might be able to just straight out kill him. 
If not, we're pretty fucked. Alright, we still have one more chance. If I land Armor Break now, and he doesn't kill my Dark Gatito. Alright, that's one more refill. Unfortunate, but it is... It is the way it is. Dang, he resists my armor break twice. I was really sad. Alright, now it lands. Well, let's, let's hope that he at least draws something good. I mean, it's a guaranteed 6-star gem, so as long as it's not a flat stat... I don't know. I don't even know if these are worth keeping if they're flat. I just feel like they're they're not because these it still costs the same to power them up, and um, yeah, it's just it's just not a good investment, you know. Dang, that was sad. Um, let's try with my fire Arthur for the. That's the last run. I still think using the Fire Arthur might be slightly better because he he does a little bit more damage because of his higher higher attack. Uh, so you might be able to nuke the boss a little bit harder. All right, same thing. Kill the Killabat. Stun this. Some damage on. And hope she hits my Dark Sea Star. Yes. So lucky. Oh nice, a stun lands. It's awesome. I think I might be able to straight out kill her like this. Alright, this way my Arthur still has his his AoE. And I might be able to kill multiple monsters with this. If I do this right. If I if I can land armor break on multiple units. Hmm, not enough damage. Sorry, only two of them are alive. As long as both of them don't hit my Dark Colt, I should be fine. God damn it. Why'd you have to go and do that? Dang it, I thought I was safe. That's one more refill. Yeah, there's no there's no there's no uh there's no workaround. That's one more refill. Possibly two, because I, I think I'm, I'm pretty fucked. Come on, please. Oh god, I, I might as well use this. Hit my C-start, please, hit my C-start. Yes! Oh, I can, I can tr hopefully land this armor break. It didn't land. Alright, let's just nuke him as hard as I can, because we're, we're both dead this turn. Oh no, we're not. Oh nice, I, I, I land the armor break, and he kills me this turn. And then I'm, I'm back, and he still has fatigue and armor break for one more turn on him. So this turn, I, I can I can nuke him pretty pretty damn hard. Except nobody crit. Oh shit, he's gonna use his AoE. Oh shit, everyone's dead. Oh my god, holy shit. Oh shit, that was so unfortunate. The, the second round, that that was like really bad RNG. Because if my Dark Gatito wouldn't didn't die, he'd be at half health. And he would have used his AoE. So when I revive, I would just be able to kill him. It would have been one refill. Now it became three refills. Because that little, uh, little mishap. Alright, please hit my C-Star. Not the Katito, not the Katito. Oh fuck me. Or maybe he won't use his AoE, maybe he'll do a single target on someone other than Dark Katito. Alright. At least that wasn't four refills. Damn, this this run could have been one refill if on the on that turn um they attacked my my C star instead of if one of them attacked my C star instead of my Dark Katito. I think that's it. I, I don't have any more uh, any more sigils this week to, to run dragons. But I mean, I, I think I, I made some pretty good runs. Um, 
You know, obviously today wasn't all that lucky, but yesterday I did get a few good gems. It's it's definitely so worth it to try. Um, you know, to to try and get it. It's, you're not guaranteed to get anything good, but when you do, it definitely does pay off. So, um, yeah, I was just thinking of using my my Dark Victoria in the future. Um, you know, once I fuse a few more of her and try to get her as a variant, I might be able to do something. Um, don't have any summons, but I might be able to do a rebirth if I just put together some resources. All right, this is all I got. Wait, I have a, I have a Shelly. Could probably just feed this Shelly. I realize that for my team, it's probably better to use the Water Shelly than the Wood Gatito, because the Water Shelly has um slightly higher attack, slightly higher uh, base base damage and he also has a hundred percent armor break there's not a lot of monsters that have a hundred percent armor break um, if you want it to be reliable you definitely do want it to be a hundred percent so um, I think the only viable monsters are the water Shelly and the the uh, the Katito. but there are other a lot of other monsters with like 90 percent or 80 percent armor break like the fire nightmare um, you get her at, at like um, you can max her out. Her attack's insanely high. Like this is, this is super high um, compared to a lot of other attackers. Like the Fire Arthur only has like 3,400, just 3,000. Actually, no, that's only 200 more. It's not, it's not that much more. Yeah, this Indra has a lot of attack as well. So unfortunate her armor breaks only 80%, you know, for a nat 5 it's not it's not all that great. Um, but I realized that only uh, only single target monsters have 100% armor break, like the Wicked Tito and the Water Shelly. Um, the Wicked Tito, I think he has 2,500 um, base attack at 6 stars max level, at evil 3 6 stars max level. Um, you can actually replace him with the Water Shelly. If you're trying to make a team similar similar to mine, you can use the Water Shelly, um, and he has actually has 2,700 attack, which is slightly slightly higher. And the attack stats the only thing that matters because no, if you're using some dark monsters, um, they're never going to get attacked. So the only stat that matters on these monsters, on your other two monsters that aren't dark, um, are attack stats. You want them to hit as hard as possible. Yeah, there, there are no good other, there are no good stun monsters, no 100% stun. It doesn't even have to be like, a hundred, it doesn't even have to be stun, um, it can be petrify or, or any form of CC, sleep would work as well. The, uh, I think a really good monster to, um, I, 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 uh, I, 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 I kind of got lost there. I was talking about armor break, then I, I moved on to stun. Um, but basically, what I want to do is I want to use three monsters um, or two monsters. I'm, I'm still going to use my Dark Katito because he just hits so damn hard. And I'm going to use uh, two other monsters with with stun. And then one of them at least needs to be dark, and then the other just needs to be built with full attack and and just hit as hard as possible. So I think the Light Medusa is probably a really good candidate. But I, unfortunately, I still haven't summoned her. Um, I'm going to definitely try for the next few days. If not, I can just keep using my Fire Arthur, because if you look at her max spell stats, um, it's 2,100, but if you can get like a F Fire Arthur at, um, at max level, it's 3,400, which is actually quite a lot higher. Um, obviously, she, he doesn't have like that el elemental edge, but he has his, his own armor break, so against the Dragon Boss, like for example, if you're if you're your armor breaker, um, the, the first skill armor breaker, happens to not be able to land his armor break, um, your Fire Arthur can go in and try to armor break, and then this way your your Dark Atito can still hit um, you know, hit the dragon for like half his HP bar. Um, yeah, it's it's all really, really situational. I think another good monster to use if you if you had the had the uh, the resources would be the wood uh, What's her name? The wood, uh... Oh, wait, what? 
Yaksha, yeah, yes, the evil, the evil one version is called the Yaksha. She has 3,100 3, um, base attack, and she she also has 100% sleep, um, which is really nice. If you can happen to get her as a variant, you can also use her variant skill to increase your your overall overall damage. Unfortunately, I don't have her with a square slot. Like my my Yaksha doesn't have a square slot, and I also don't have three Yaksha, so I can't really make her evil three. Um, if I do have the resources to make her evil three, like if I summon another wood one with a square slot, and uh, I have I happen to get enough uh, enough resources to to you know all the gleams and having to get three more Yakshas to get her to evil three, I might. And I don't have the light Medusa, I might I might just uh, you know put some resources into that. There's not really a lot of things um, I'm actively working on. Um, but yeah, that's that's actually just uh, that's pretty much it. There's there's no no other no other monster. Like if you want to count the light dark ones, that there are a few pretty damn OP like light dark monsters like uh, the dark dark Valk. She has a hundred percent stun. Um, unfortunately, she's only tank type. Uh, I think a perfect monster would be this this guy. Unfortunately, I don't have him either. I have the dark one, but I don't have the light one. It uh, makes me feel a little bit sad. If only I had the light one. I also have a lot of tigers to use. He has 3,100, which is really, really high. Um, he's light, so he has 10% more crit rate. He also has the attack leader skill, so this is like the best leader skill ever. And he also has 50% hunter. And he has a, he has a two-turn CC, which is like super strong. Um, but yeah, that's that's. I think that's pretty much it. There's there's really no other no other monster that's that's usable. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's all all I really got. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing dragons again next next week. You know, gonna be doing some farming. Um, and I think that's that's pretty much it. That's all I can. All, all the tips I can give for now for for Dragon Speed 10. Um, you know, I'm just gonna be working on my team, working on for the next seven days um, to complete my fusion for for my Venus. I'm I'm short a few more Andes. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine. I, I only have nine, so I need uh, I need uh, but including this one, I need I need uh. Six more, yes. I need six more, so it's not it's not that hard. I have enough bonds to to make my my uh, my chocolate evil three. I think I need one more fire one if I don't want to use my dark ones. That's that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.